skin again, we could see that instantly. We also know that this is going to wind up being some type of uh, dermatosis, which is the generic word for a skin inflammation, because we could see epidermis, we could see dermis, and we could see a wide variety of inflammatory cell infiltrates uh, in the upper uh, dermis chiefly, but also nests here going into the reticular uh, dermis as well. This is the classical hallmark of a chronic dermatosis or chronic inflammatory skin disease. This is a situation called psoriasis. There are a wide variety of psoriasis type diseases. There's a disease called parapsoriasis, which looks like psoriasis, which of course this is. There are a whole bunch of adjectives and diagnostic terms preceding the word psoriasis. It is the hallmark of a chronic uh, dermatosis. Uh, like everything or many things in medicine, there's a whole wide variety of things which are related to this, including genetics, but nobody has really pinpointed one single specific thing. And there are a wide variety of ways of treating it. But this is called histopathology. So I want to tell you the three things that are always associated with anything that has the word P-S-O-R-I-A in it, whether it's parapsoriasis, psoriasis, or any of the wide family of psoriasiform dermatoses. And the three things are this. You have, uh, as a bottom line, two things. You have elongation of the reti pegs and you have chronic inflammation, chiefly in the upper dermis. Some of it may be perivascular. Some of it may not be perivascular. And the third thing I want to find, which I'm having a hard time finding, because if I don't find it, you won't believe me, is hyperkeratosis. So the bottom line in all of the chronic inflammatory psorias and psoriasis and psoriasiform dermatoses is that you have hyperkeratosis on one end and elongation of the uh, epidermal pegs on the other hand. You have truly uh, the skin expanding in both directions. And as well, you have uh, a more than small amount of chronic inflammatory changes surrounding this as well. This is a absolutely classic textbook picture of generic psoriasis here. Thank you very much.